Hi friends, welcome to this week's edition of Mask Monday. As per normal, I am post gym, hence the like goofy weird poof hair happening. Um, I'm gonna be doing the quick tea tree face spa. This is a five to 10 minute sheet mask. I'm kind of in a rush today. I don't have a lot of time, um, or a lot of free time I should say, so I'm just gonna do a quick one. It's the Pore Cleansing Fabric Facial. Um, it's got tea tree and spearmint in it. If I sound a little stuffed up, it's because I am. I have a nasty head cold, um, par for the course. I normally get these norm earlier in the year, but just bear with me. Um, it says, first, cleanse your face. So I'm gonna use these simple micellar um, sensitive skin wipes. Spoiler alert, they're gonna be in an empty soon and I freaking love these. If you're somebody who really likes to do a one-step makeup remover and cleanser, this is your best friend. I would highly recommend these. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a wipe out, remove my makeup, and then put the sheet mask on. All right, so some facts about this mask is it's a pore cleansing fabric facial mask. Um, my pores have actually been pretty clean lately. I know there's been a request for me to talk about my skincare routine, but I'm gonna be honest, I think a lot of my clean face has to do with um, my diet, my changed diet, but I can talk about that later. This is what the mask looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my face. Um, you want to make sure with face masks that you kind of pat it down so that it lays relatively flat. Let's try to center it here. It is not too minty on my face, which I like. Like, it's not bothering my eyes or anything like that. So I'm going to sit back and relax for five minutes, and then I'll come back and check it with you guys. So it's been five minutes, and I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. Uh, this is one of the big pros I like about sheet masks is the cleanup is super easy. Um, one thing you'll do is you're just supposed to pat and like massage the remaining residue into your skin so it can be absorbed. Um, I have a stuffed nose so it's a little bit hard for me to assess how strong the scent is. I definitely can smell the spearmint through my stuffed nose. So if you're somebody sensitive to smells, I'd imagine that this one might be a little bit strong for you. But what I really liked about the mintiness of this is that it leaves my skin feeling sort of tingly and cooled down, which I really like. But I also really love that this is only a five minute mask. Sometimes it's really nice to, in short, small bursts, be able to, you know, kind of rejuvenate your skin or do something quick to your skin that could have a long-term impact. So again, I'm a big fan of this mask for that. As far as being pore cleaning, I don't notice anything in particularly specific about my pores that's different from before I put the mask on. Um, I really like this more for the relaxation effort. So if you're assessing it based on its ability to clean your pores, I would say it's not so great. But as far as making you feel relaxed and sort of cooling your skin off in a really nice, pleasant way, I would give this puppy two thumbs up. All right, guys, that's it for me. Um, I'm trying to see if Ben will do that men's mask that um, my good friend Annie Mills, who leaves comments all the time in my video, she's like one of my real life friends, um, requested for, and you guys seem to like that idea. So I will try to convince him to do it, and I will see you guys in my next Mask Monday. Bye.